All right, here we are on the Aqua Sport. Um, apologize, but I'm already in the boat, so I'm starting the video out that way. Uh, one of the very nice features about this is we have a um, 250 horse E-Tech uh, that was purchased new in 2011, only 180 hours on it. Um, the boat's older, but it seems to be in, uh, in real good shape. Here's a swimming ladder. Um, you see the steering mechanisms in pretty good shape and, and so on. Uh, lighted live well. I'm not sure the exact size, but uh, it goes pretty deep here. Uh, we also have a um, freshwater shower here. A rather large cockpit. Let me try and get up a little bit here. Um, pretty good sized cockpit. This boat's really um, decked out for fishing. It's approximately 30 rod holders on her. Um, and you can see there's cup holders <coughs> as well on the uh, leaning post. Uh, Helm Mary is in, in pretty good shape. The, um, we've got uh, three pieces of electronics. Let me go ahead and pop the covers here. Raymarine DS500X fish finder, it's a GPS 182, and they um, they keep that unit as a backup. You can see there's a little bit of screen damage there, so the primary unit is this Garmin touchscreen uh, 5212. Okay, pretty good space in the um, glove compartment. It actually goes actually goes back a little bit. Uh, gauges look good, not foggy. See the helm area. Uh, the switch is looking uh, to be in pretty good shape as well. A uh, little foot rest down below. Uh, walking up to the front, we've got some uh, some sun pads, uh, which obviously you know snap in and out. And there's two large uh, fish lockers below that. Uh, anchor locker looks good and clean. Uh, one thing the uh, the seller told me is is they've ordered a new seat here. You can see the seats in rough shape, and they should have that in about a week or so, and that's going to be replaced with the brand new seat, and we'll update the photos on that. Uh, spreader lights front and back. Uh, outriggers uh, come with the boat, but they're not on it right now, just the bases are. Um, pretty good walk around space on the side deck. Got a partial um, Isinglass um, type cover here that looks uh, to be relatively new. I don't see any, any major uh, fogging or scratches in the glass. Um, let's see, we have a little uh, tackle station here for the Plano boxes. There's also a, um, another station back here. <clears throat> I'm not sure uh, what was going on here in the right, but I want to point that out. But uh, really, uh, boat seems to be pretty clean, especially for an older boat. The um, 180 hours on the E-Tech. Brand new trailer. I'm gonna pause the video for a minute and hop off the boat and I'll show you the uh, the outside and the trailer. Okay, here we are outside of the boat. I'm gonna walk in a little closer here. Apologize for that thunder in the background. We're getting ready to get hit by a rainstorm here. Um, if you look at the still photos, I pulled the cowling and you can see how nice it is underneath the hood. Prop appears to be in good shape. A little scratching on the skeg, but I don't see any chips or anything. That's pretty, pretty common. Um, we got about two minutes and I'm out of here. All right, so anyway, uh, I don't see any big issues at all with the hull. Um, there's a little bit of scratching here on the on the back corner, uh, but other than that, 
looks pretty good shape obviously bottom paint uh, trim tabs down below and I mentioned the trailer it's a brand new um, Seahawk it's only been in the water one time as of today it's a shot of the back up a little bit shot of the bow area spare tire 